from struggling to get to the cap floor to now right up against the cap Nashville Predators franchise mode will continue here in free agency some hilarious strong drafts two in a row now uh thank you Calgary and uh sorry Uncle Skoden <laughs> But uh, your team may be in the dumps for a while, but uh, it's the risk that you guys take. You're in my franchise modes, but will I fuck your team over? Who the hell knows? I am ruthless. <laughs> um, so before we get uh, get further here, we do have uh, uh, three winners to read off from last year's point scoring contest. No clean sweeps, but uh, I don't think anyone could have got one. We had freaking Darth Vader winning the goalie thing. That already screwed up everyone's predictions. And then uh, Morgan Riley again for the defense. I don't think anyone expected him to do that twice. <laughs> but there he is. Maybe he's the new guy. Who knows? Anyway, the winners here. First one is fucking Stallion G Duck, who guessed for the team lead uh, himself. Yes, Jimmy Sullivan. And uh, if you guys out there at Avenged Sevenfold fans, you will understand the reference between his name in the game and his name on YouTube. Um, and league lead Connor McDavid. Those were both correct. I guess not a bad best for bad bet for Blackwood. You know, New Jersey winning the cup and all that defense, but didn't pan out this time. But congrats to you, asshole. And uh, next up here we have Psycho Dad Jesse, who guessed for the team lead uh, AJ Ole and the league lead McDavid. Now AJ and I believe it was Stalin tied with seventy five points apiece on uh, the forward end for the team lead. You're going for Darcy Kemper as the tender tendy tender. I'm not French. Uh, yeah. It, not a bad selection, I guess. You know, kind of a dark horse. You never know. It's one of those uh, mid-80s goaltenders who could just flourish. But congrats to you on the AJ and McDavid pick. And last but not least, we have Zinthi, who guessed uh, Stalin, uh, Connor McDog shit, <laughs> and the goalie Shostorkin. Yeah, if only Shostorkin could carry the Rangers here like he does in real life. Am I right, Zinthi? All right, so there we go. <laughs> congrats. To all of you guys, and best of luck to everyone in this coming season. Now, uh, we are way up against the cap. <laughs> Luckily, we don't really need anything. Uh, we need a backup goaltender, but we do kind of also have uh, Sean Mockers, who's an 83, who we could honestly use if, if it comes to that. I would rather not... And I know some people call me crazy. I want Ingram back until a guy shows me that he's not a good backup, essentially. <laughs> um, yeah. Ooh. It's a Saros extension year. Hold on. That's something I didn't check. He does want to come back. What's the price tag he's after? Dude, he wants continually good deals. Um, okay, two and three years doesn't change. So he'll be 33... So if I do one, two, three, like 35, I think that's the best bet to do three years. Four years is, it's, it's 0 0.025, 25 grand. No, we can, we can afford the 25 grand for the one less year. I think that's a safe bet here. So it's just under five, uh, 493, so 495 essentially, I think. It's not bad. It's a little bit of a raise, but yeah, I have to be 495, just under five still. You know, a bit of a raise, but it's not that much. Uh, let's hope he doesn't decline early. <laughs> but uh, he's a guy I, I could see, you know, maintaining some stack growth to boost boost him up. Uh, he doesn't have that right now either. Like he doesn't have his. Remember, we, he got up to 90 overall. This is about where he is naturally at around 85 ish. He's at 86 right now, so maybe he has a bit. Could always check, but. He doesn't have like the huge, huge boost or anything like that. So we're gonna offer him that because next year currently it says 27 million available to us. Um, a lot of that's gonna disappear quickly. Um, yeah, in the way of those extensions. Holding off on Fabro, he this is probably gonna be his last year. So we gotta start thinking about potential replacements. Uh, yeah, oh dude, yeah, I should get rid of Carrier by this point. I know he's being buried, but it's to that point now where <laughs> remember remember this <laughs> when we thought i well i screwed up i didn't realize he was an ofd when i made that I'm like yeah he'll be a solid top six guy and then i'm like absolutely not he'll be carrying in the ahl and being buried so that's what's going on with that but i mean in all fair we do kind of have i'm hoping schultz schultz is the guy who i'm kind of hoping can take over 
in the top six. He's pinch bounce. I don't know how that'll... I have no clue. Is anyone here pinch balanced? Yes. Eh, he won't be great for the third pairing. But he also won't be horrible. So that's at least okay. He won't be on the level of Fabro, who is balanced, balanced, which is slightly better. He's not tremendous either. So maybe it is the other guy over there would be Ferentz. Oh, cool. We don't have info. Awesome. Yeah, because he's it, he like lists him as a depth and then it like takes that away for whatever reason. Speaking of which, that's a bit unfortunate, but it's not horrible. But we won't go too crazy on a long-term extension for him. Do we extend him? Probably. I do really like Ferentz. He's been solid for us, so kind of why give that up we will have to pay him a little bit just thinking probably a three year i think three year makes the most sense for him we'll get him this year and a few years after that so let's go ahead and do that as well uh yeah 1.7 essentially maybe a bit under uh, 1.7 wait 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 1.6 no it has to be 1.7 all right, so 3 by 1.7. That's okay. I mean, it, considering he's like 80 overall, like that's pretty damn solid actually at this stage in the franchise. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to get Fabro. It's just, look, that's, no. <laughs> so we could either get some stuff back for him this year, but I think I might just play him out. We don't really need kickback. We have so much value kind of everywhere. So that's kind of that sorted out. We still obviously need the goaltender for this season if, you know, well, it, regardless, we need a goaltender. We signed Poirier. Uh, we'll need someone to go ahead of him if we can't get back Ingram. And we do have a tiny bit of cap space, but um, Ingram right now uh, likely won't sign for it. And another thing that was, that was suggested is to just kind of go along here and wait for his price to decrease. Because there's so many goaltenders. Odds are. All right, so there's your first round. Ferentz, Telkvist, both accepted their extensions. Let's take a look at Ingram. And the goaltender situation in general. So yeah, no offers. Still wants the same amount. That's okay. Well, hopefully he'll uh, decrease that asking price as we go on. Saros accepts Ice Warrior. So those are some big contracts locked in now. Alright, let's take another gander here. Love it if I didn't have to keep switching. Is that Jacob Markstrom I just saw at 80 overall? Or is that a different Markstrom? Ingram, still the same price, so... I don't know how long you have to go until it... It kind of starts changing. Uh, Absolutely not. That's our amazing enforcer. We'll just remove everything off the block right now. We'll take our time here, see if we can... Sort of make this work and see if we can get a cheaper deal for Ingram. And have a tiny bit of wiggle room. I don't think it'll matter. I don't see us really making a major move. I think we're, this is our window, right? So we're kind of going... We're going in each and every year. Ingram. Okay, he wants 1.1 now. Still no offers. So that's good for us. We could get him... Prob well, it's not a huge, huge decrease. But we're going to keep going. Hopefully no one else needs goaltenders right now or cannot or can't afford them or something. I'm a little paranoid about him going because he's such a good backup. Still there, 1.1, no offers. So here we are in August. <laughs> Usually this is all cut out and shit, but as we're trying to pursue someone for a smaller amount of money, it makes sense to stay in. Still the same price, still no asks though. Yes, that is Jacob Markstrom, by the way, 37. So, I mean, it's good for us. If it if it keeps going like this and there's no interest in goaltenders, that's really good for us. Kind of just going like a week. I don't know if I'm going actual weeks, but I'm clicking until it... F Shit! Oh, no, he's still there. Oh, boom! There it is. Boom. There we go. Okay, one year at that. Uh, let's see if he wants... Okay, if you do two years, it goes up. Yeah, it does go up quite a bit, but you know what? Honestly, I'd do two years if I won. Absolutely. For, for Ingram, hell yeah. And that does, it's, it will still have 125k if we do this. So, let's do that. Offer that for Ingram. Two years by that. 
the one year doesn't I would rather have the extra year for an extra 200k absolutely so boom that looks like it paid off hopefully if he does sign yep Connor Ingram back on our squad and that should be <laughs> shut up Sean mockers you're an AHLer I don't care about your 83 <laughs> yeah there you go we are, we'll technically still have about a million, it says, but we're pretty much right up against the cap. We've spent, spent to it, essentially. And, uh, yeah, we'll still have certain guys buried here. In the, speaking of which, can I just trade that carry guy? We did have a lot of defensemen. It's been nice having him, you know, carry my AHL around, but is anyone going to want him? Actually, yes. Dude, he's actually, look at this value, actually. That's kind of hilarious that he's got that value. Anaheim won. Dude, a lot of teams won. Alright, we'll just give them Anaheim. Oh, they are listed as a seller, though. So, yeah, we won't really... I can get maybe Toronto's pick. Oh, should be able to get that. Honestly, you could be able to get their pick if it was... If they were willing to give it up. But they're not. What do I got in the way of picks? Just all my normal ones? Yep. Okay. Alright, let's see. Arizona, they've been pretty good. Oof. Oh, what? They're listed as a seller now. What the hell happened to Boston? Sabres, yeah, we know about Carol, uh, Calgary. I'm trying to find a team that might suck. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. They definitely want to give up their second. Conservative, like a conservative buyer. Like Florida, they were making the playoffs. But here they are willing to give up their picks. No way I get a two and a three for this. Yeah, no way. Uh, I actually might not even get a two. Oh, I did get it too. Cool. All right, that's fine with me. So that'll save us some money. Um, yeah, that's nice. So at this point, I don't know. Maybe we can get back. Uh, what's his name? Fabro? Maybe. I I I don't think so. Still, I I think he's just the eighty three. It's a bit too tough. Like if I can get him around there, yeah. I I don't think so though. I don't think we're going to be able to swing that. But this does give us, like, a little bit more breathing room as well. So, that'll be nice. And that does clear up cap for the next two years as well. So, yeah. It's pretty solid. If we can get Fabro to, like, that kind of a deal, which we're simply not going to be able to do, it'd be great. But we're not going to be able to do that. So, it is what it is. But that will take care of all the offseason stuff. We'll sim up. I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of. See you guys in a bit. All right, so the lines are set. Maybe what you expect here, five on five for the most part. Gravy, Stalin, and AJ. Then Tolvin and Ice Warrior and Tomasino. He is listed as second line. I know he's only got the 73 face-offs, but we'll see if he could uh, center a line because he does have the base fa best face-offs between these three. Um, so hopefully he can do just that. But yeah, Tolvin and Ice Warrior, Tomasino, second line. Telkfus, Glass, and Kunin. Telkfus is 85, but he is still listed as third line. So that's where he's going with Glass and Kunin still. And then Brunette making his uh, NHL debut. Listed as third line, but we're playing him fourth. He's a solid defensive player. Likely going to be a new uh, third liner for us. And then Pocket and Felino. Pocket's down to HL tops. He's going to be declining this season. So... Need a replacement for him, and uh, Felino, of course, still got top nine, so, I mean, he's still doing okay. Still maybe even take him up year by year to keep him around on that fourth line, but, <clears throat> yeah, no no chemistry anymore because it's not triple grinder, obviously, with Brunette in here, and we couldn't, re I mean, we can maybe go afford and go out to, like, get a grinder now, but I don't think there's a reason to. Let's get Brunette in there. Defensively, uh, Sullivan, Hilpert, Mara Johnson, and Ference Favreau, of course. I, th I still think Mara is going to become very, very... Even if he stays here at 85, honestly, it's okay. <laughs> He'll still be very, very good. So, yeah. Pretty uh, pretty stoked on this defensive core. Of course, the goaltender is Saros Ingram. Um, but let's go to the special teams here where we got Gravy, Stalin, AJ, Tolvanen, and Hilpert on the top unit, then Ice Warrior, Glass, Tomasino, Sullivan, and Telkfist. No Kunin now. I, I feel like Telkfist is going to earn that. Besides with that 85, I feel like he might change the second line at some point. Uh, so I want to have him in the power on the power play to be giving him that extra ice time to kind of counteract that inevitability, which it will change. I don't know when, but it will. Um, it might change at the beginning of the year. So that's the power play. Quick look here at the four-man. 
And then a penalty kill, Glass, Kunin, Johnson, Mar. I mean, it's this is so, so good. Pocket, Felino, Hilpert, Sullivan. Like, it's a sick penalty kill. <laughs> it absolutely is a sick penalty kill. Uh, Three-man, Glass, Kunin taking the draws. Johnson, Mara, Sullivan, Hilpert. Yep, same uh, defensive pairings. Into the extras we go. I didn't do extra attackers. I'll do that in a sec. Uh, Stalin and Gravy. Uh, all the defensive pairings will be as they are five on five. Then AJ and Tolvanen. And then Telkfist and Tomasino. No Ice Warrior. But I feel like this is... A, I feel like he, this, he needs to earn his way onto this. This is a good setup. Uh, Telkfist there. Great face-offs. Uh, Tomasino is a playmaker. So pass or shooter. Um, this is kind of both hybrids, AJ and Tolvanen, so that's why they're there together, and then I'm obviously a pass or shooter with these two. Uh, so, three on three, obviously the same forward pairings, then Hilpert, Sullivan, and Fabro. Extra attacker will not be this. It'll be, I don't know, it could be Tolvanen as the extra. Yeah, fuck it, I'll, I'll, I'll do that, we'll try that, I don't know. Some shooters. Uh, shoot out, Telfist, Holvin, and Tomasino, Gravy, Hilpert. He doesn't have the greatest deking. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> I, I usually just let the AI do this, no matter what, man. It's like, do your thing, I don't care. Uh, we saw the goaltender's scratch is gonna be Schultz, and Knack is back. Um, he has slightly better offensive stats now than Novak, so he's he's back in here. Uh, Scholes, yeah, I know he's 20 and listed as death. Usually I'd play him AHL and then, like, kick him up, but I also kind of don't want him getting too good too quickly because we were planning to use him as maybe a top six guy. I don't know if that'll pan out. Maybe he'll be too good, but Jurgen Scholes will be here. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens with him. He'll Hopefully he does get some ice time. You don't want to hope for too many injuries, but, I mean, we had a bunch last season, so odds are watching him, like, getting no ice time. <laughs> Maybe I'll send him down at some point. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, give me a quick look at the AHL. I don't have a ton left here, McCarran Popovich, but we, you know, just a couple depth guys apiece. We got forwards in everywhere, defensemen in everywhere. Hi. <laughs> Show him is 85. It doesn't matter. I don't need to fucking play him in the NHL for him to grow. Some players are just like this. So just remember Caleb Schoenmakers when you guys are like, oh my God, Sin, you're going to ruin these guys by playing in the AHL. No, I'm not. Some people just grow. A lot of them just seem to grow. Caleb Schoenmakers is one of them. I'm going to keep playing him here. He's 23 with starter potential 85. I doubt he gets too much better, but if he does, he could do it just as fine here. <laughs> so there we go. I don't know what we're going to do with him. Maybe trade value. I don't, I don't even know, but... When did we draft that guy? He was like a throw. It is a third round. Yeah, we we're probably hoping for an elite. We're like, oh, shit, he's only a starter. Look what he did. Holy shit. <laughs> so there we are. There's the lineup. Let's see how we're going to do this season. And uh, guys, go ahead and make your predictions right now as well. And let's do that hockey. Huh? Let's do that hockey. You'll get that first little... Month and a half done. Stop wanting my enforcer. How dare you? Oh, I got nothing on the block. Stop asking me. Don't you dare ask for my enforcer. I like my enforcer. Hopefully he grows. Uh, Yusuf Saros dealt with a minor injury. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting, uh... Preseason there, not too sure what to make of it. We'll see what happens in the regular season. That's what matters. Okay, that's an AHL, but we got we got a guy for that. In one Michael McCarron. All right, let the auto scout get to work. There we go. I like to see those wins following up a loss. Get the get the season started off right. So come on now. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. What a start. What a start to the year. A couple losses there as we're... A rec actually, a record looks like shit now. What? Oh, my God. Sub 500. Oh, we're doing this. We're doing this for no fucking reason. We're going to be a bad team for no reason. Stop that. Stop it immediately. Holy crap. EA. EA. EA! Are you kidding me? Hold the gravy. He's been injured. What is happening right now, man? This makes no fucking sense. Zero fucking sense. It's not we didn't even like make many changes to this team like at all Like not at all and there's should be no fucking reason that we're shit in the bed like that. Absolutely none 
<sighs> he wasn't out for too long, so I don't mind just doing this. What the hell, though? Seriously. Can we stop? Apparently not. Apparently we're just going to keep getting blown out randomly. We'll take a look at what's going on. I'll let this play out. It's, you know, no reason not to. Gordy DPH, oh, holy crap, everyone's getting injured. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course it has to be the most difficult person every single time. I, do I even bother, you know, saying the obvious that subbing all lines should work? <laughs> no? Okay. There we go. Okay, um, 12, 10, and 0 without a wild card spot. We're not far off. We did three points out of first, but what the fuck? Not happy with the start, obviously. I think our record should be better. Watch our stats be really good. It, it, like, what is hap What is this team? <laughs> we have a full one differential between goals for and goals against. How are we? At we did this last season, didn't we? We're 12, 10, and 0. What the hell? 23.9% on the power play, 88 points. <laughs> Uh, we're staying the course. I'm not gonna fucking panic. It looks stupid. The record's stupid. Whatever. We should be fine. Uh, oh yeah, new captain in town. It is not who you guys would expect. A lot of people are calling for Stalin. He still doesn't have any sort of locker room trait. So I gave it to AJ. Alternates are Fabro and Stalin. But we may have some new uh, contenders coming in. We'll see about if the presence has changed. They did not, by the looks of it. Center pocket. Yeah. Anyway, AJ captain, because he's a leader. And sorry, I I, I want to see how much that brings to the locker room chemistry and stuff, I think. So I wanted to make him, obviously, a captain, Fabro alternate. Stalin still has an A. Uh, likely with Fabro departing, we can hand it over to Ice Warrior Tomasino. Probably Ice Warrior. We'll stick with the... Keep giving the members stuff. We'll see. If he maintains the presence, hopefully becomes a leader. I don't know. We shall see. I think presence changes from year to year. Leader usually doesn't. So we'll see how that works. Speaking of which, I need to check the individual stats. I was too busy friggin' laughing at our team stats. 23 points for Gravy and AJ, 22 for Tolvin, 21 for Stalin. Ice Warrior is 17, there you go. He got over his cup hangover and is ready. <laughs> Taking on that second line. Tomasino is 17. Yeah, there's your top six. Solid. Felina with 12. Glass with 12. Kunin with 12. Telkfus was 10. Uh, Brunette only with four, Paquette with three, Knack has a point, but overall pretty good. Defensively, Sullivan, Mara, Hilpert, decent production out of all of them. Good plus minuses for Sullivan and Hilpert. Fabron and Ferentz, Johnson and Mara need to get a bit better, but we'll see. Um, oh, great. <laughs> what, what, because I let him go to free agency, now he's going to be a shit backup? Awesome. Whatever. <laughs> he's lost. <awesome. laughs> so every time he's hopped in, we've been awful. Holy crap, Really? Did that guy really go from, like, the best backup to the shittest one? Just because I let him touch free agency? I really think that matters, by the way, guys. When they, like, they go free agency, it almost, like, resets them. Same with, like, how coaches can change their preferences. I don't know. Call me crazy, but... <laughs> anyway, Saros is doing good, at least. So, we got that. Two shutouts as well for him. Hopefully, he can continue to carry. Hopefully, we continue to stop sucking. Hopefully, Ingram can get some friggin' wins. All right. It's counterintuitive to have Sean Mockers up here. I know some people probably... Well, no. It doesn't make sense to have a guy listed as starter playing because he'll play shit too. That's how the game works. All right. Let's go up another month. And hopefully start uh, winning some games a bit better. Winning some more games. Whatever. Words. We'll do some scouting here. And see what this draft is going to have for us. Again, don't really care about what's appearing in the first or in, or in the top five. That usually gets sorted out. Or in the rest of the first, for that matter. We're just going to look for the steals. And the rest will essentially sort itself out, usually. So we'll do that. Some decent locations. But, again, still very early. But, a lot of two-tick mediums. Which does give me some hope for this season. I don't... Did the... Did the scout already tell me what he thought this draft year would be? I don't know. His opinion is completely irrelevant. He has two answers he can give you, essentially. And there's so... <laughs> it's essentially useless for him to tell you that, isn't it, man? Like, what the fuck? You figure it out on your own if you scout, you know, at least have an idea of how the drafts work. <laughs> uh, 
Alrighty. Okay, that's about it. Stuart? Yeah. It, okay, with, with the way this looks, it looks like it could be relatively deep with some of those. If those two are indeed low elites where they're coming in, could be a pretty deep draft. That's a big if, though. It depends. We'll have to look to those guys and see what they actually become. If they're top sixes, though, however, could be thin or a stacked top or something. Guess we'll find out. But for right now, some good stuff. Or at least a lot to, uh, a lot to look at here. Okay. A lot of lows here. And this is still in the elite section, too. So that's a good start for my scouts. Oh, okay. He was slightly in there, but unfortunately. Can't click on him. I can click on Trey Vance, though, who's still in range for that medium elite. So that's nice. Oh, they're here, though. Not a whole lot going on. Can't even click on half of them. Love to see it. What the hell is that? A Strombolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopolopol
Can't get any production from this back end. It's kind of nuts. Fabra's a goal scorer, which is hilarious. That's not our... Our issue isn't, like, shut down, is it? Like, no, it's not. I don't understand. Like, this is better chemistry overall, sure, but... I don't know. I feel like I gotta have Hilpert up here. I'll let it go a little bit longer. If, if we don't start winning more games, which we absolutely should be doing, then I'll have to make some changes and just try to figure out what's going to help us win. Because this is a little weird, the way things have been going. But it's two years in a row where it's been like this, so... DiPietro's out yet again. Cool. So I gotta click McCarran about 20 times here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. And now our power play is actually doing really good. Our penalty kill is no different, and then it started to struggle. I don't know. Maybe it's just... I don't know. I really... I don't understand. We'll see. Hopefully, we can continue to win some games. We need to string together a lot of wins. Like, we've got to turn it around right now, or else, you know, I, 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 I got to make changes. It's simply... It is what it is. So, we've got a pretty... We've got... This has got to be a... <laughs> Damn it, AHL. This has got to be a great month here. This really does. Don't care about any minuses. Get a point. Another point, but we got to win. We got to answer right back with wins. Two, three. All right, I like it. Nice. All right. Okay, we're starting to starting to get it together here. Going to do some scouting real quick. All right. MVR comes back. Just as we uh, finished a scouting here. So there he goes. Back in with Litavori. There we go. Keep winning. All right, tough loss, but we answer right back. Another one. There we go. Oof. Two shutouts in a row, baby. Let's go. Now don't shit the bed this month. God damn it. <laughs> every two, two, every couple losses in a row kind of worries me because I've been we have all, always been conditioned to fear it, right? See three in a row. Uh, start getting worried. Very inconsistent this season, though. 37, 21, and 4. I still feel like we should be better. I, I don't know. I feel like we should be better, man. I really do. We're in second, uh, ahead of the wild card by 8 points. So we're pretty much guaranteed to be a playoff team now. But what is with us? Like, we, I don't know. I don't care if we're winning presidents, I guess. I just want to still, you know, kick some ass. Our locker room chemistry is great, man. 77%. So we got the right captains. We got the right group. It's I don't know. I'm not going to let myself get too put off by this. 3-6-3, three, 2-7-4 three, goals against. Could be a bit better. 26% uh, power play is great. 87.4. We are uh, we're in such a good spot. It's hilarious that our record isn't better. It really is, in, uh, at least in my opinion. See how we stack up. Goals for first place in goals for top offense. Goals against. Uh, just out of the top five. So, yeah, the defense could be a bit better. But there's not a huge, huge discrepancy here. Uh, power play. Uh, top power play. <laughs> the literal top power play. And uh, top three penalty kill. So overall defense could use some improvement, but it's still in the top ten. Just outside the top five. Everything else is tops, man. So we're, we're a great team in a great position. Yeah, we really are. Uh, Grayview 59 points, Tomasino with 56, Warrior with 55, AJ with 54, Tolvin in 51, uh, Stalin with 49, Glass 38, Kunin 37, Telkvist 36. They should all be 40, maybe 50. Well, they're all going to be 40. Telkvist should have 20 goals. Speaking of which, still is his third line. Uh, Felino with 27 points, man. He's still, he's still at top nine, too. Uh, Brunette, my, yeah, some minuses here and there. What can you do? Yeah, we haven't been able to play our freaking Shoals at all. I might sub him in for the rest of the season instead of Ference, just because I want to get him that ice time. Because we haven't had to use him whatsoever. I know they're doing kick ass together, but we know that they could be kick ass together. I need to give Shoals some ice time. Uh, Sullivan and Hilpert, though, have lost some plus minus. Sullivan's still leading in points. We got four defensemen with 20 or more points, which is awesome. We don't really have, you know, that one. I thought Hilpert could have been that one guy, but whatever. I don't need him to, you know, be the runaway guy if we have guys doing this. Again, we have the top offense. It's working. I'm not going to worry myself too much. The pairings are good. I'm looking at this in a way I haven't really. In the past, I might get frustrated and want to move this guy. And, hey, maybe, you know, maybe the other direction would have been good too. But the way our pairings are working right now, it's looking great. So I can't really be uh, mad at that. 
Ingram has improved. Doesn't have still none of the points I want of him in games played, but it is what it is. Saros' stats have dropped a bit, but we only care about his playoff numbers. He's got six shutouts, though. 908 to they have all the matching stats. So, yeah, again, some things could be better here and there, but overall, I like it. Overall, I'm a fan of what we're doing. So, yeah. We're in second place, four points behind the uh, Winnipeg. Overall, we're like fourth in the NHL. Yeah, fourth in the NHL. Yeah, I... <laughs> The one thing I can maybe, maybe do, and that what I would do, is uh, put Brunette back down to the AHL in favor of a grinder. Pocket's still okay, uh, especially if we were able to get chemistry, it'd be even more okay. That's kind of the one thing I would do. Everything else I'm completely fine with. I think everything else is exactly what it needs to be. That's the maybe one thing I could do. He's 22 penalty minutes, minus 9. You know, he's got 14 points, almost 10 goals, but... Uh, if I were to make a move, that would be it. So, I'm, I don't think there's going to be many grinders around. That's the only issue, right? There's not a whole heck of a lot of grinders, but that should at least make our... Uh, our looking short here. Or searching. Oh, there's... <laughs> I forgot about you guys. Are you guys playing in the fucking NHL yet? Yes. <laughs> Scary Carrie and Bim Jenning finally playing in the AHL. And they're ridiculously solid. Uh, Zach Sanford. Two years, unfortunately. I don't like... Yeah. Then it's Felino. No Kalinen, though. 24-80. Would fit. Penalty kill lines would probably be okay. Uh, Barkley Goodrow on a one year. Says he doesn't fit our scheme at all. Interesting. Medvinov. Looking like he get pretty good. Oh my god. A center, but with shit face-offs. Definitely a winger. Close to the first line. If our first line is, is similar, this could be a guy to pursue. And that'll kind of really lock in. Uh, if we're gonna, I, I don't know. Are we going to be able to do a long-term grinder fourth? It's a good question. Probably not, unless we grab Nokaline and Ed Menvenov. That gives you a solid base. Holy fuck. I gotta go for Tommy Nokaline. And... Oh, goodness. I, I gotta pursue this guy, man. I just have to. He's so good. He's so good. Holy shit. It doesn't take a whole lot of penalties either for a grinder. Look at that defense. <laughs> His puck skills for are for crap. Well, he can't pass or deek, apparently, but he has good puck control. Yeah, this probably just uses his body to shoot. I don't know, man. Good hand-eye, too. Oh, my God. This guy is a little like a grinder. He's a dream grinder. His acceleration is for shit, but he's got good overall speed and agility. N no shot. <laughs> It's a horrible... Well, his slap shot's horribly inaccurate. His wrist shot's accurate, but he's got no power behind it. What is this guy, dude? Holy, it's funny. But I, I... I I, really like him. I do really like him. Mevinov is definitely someone we gotta keep our eye on. He'll, he'll be RFA. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's at the base, so we'd have to trade for him. Medvinov, Nokalainen. If we do pursue someone, Nokalainen, I think... Yeah. And we force Brunette down back to the HL, but... I'm I'm really leaning towards this. My gut's telling me this is a, this is a good play. This will help shore up our defense a little bit, get that chemistry back on that fourth line to help Paquette out. I do want to keep Paquette. He's still got good faceoffs. He's still got good defense. So I want to keep him rolling in there and and getting getting that fourth line chemistry will absolutely do that. I think we'll get it here pretty much regardless of how this guy really fits, unless he's horrible for the fourth, but I, I don't necessarily see that happening. He's also good for the PK, which is nice. But our pet penalty kill is fine the way it is. But good to know for the future. Good to know for the future, indeed. Hmm. Yeah, that could be a play, man. That could be a play. I think if we do make a move at the deadline, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Absolutely. Uh, just for fun, I want to check. I can do it. 
from edit lines actually. I want to check out how good that how how good Sean Mockers is doing. Actually, not amazing, but the goals against a sub too. Poirier's ass. This team's really good. What's their record like, by the way? I, no. Yeah, 46, 11, and 3. They're killing it. They are actually ahead of the... Oh, it's based on point percentage. That's right. They're ahead of the Moose. Wow, us and the Moose are the fucking runaway team. Centers are pretty good, but... <laughs> pretty crazy. All right. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. Did I check progress reports again? I'm not too sure. We'll do it right now. I don't think I did. Uh, I'll skip the uh, NHL. Bemstrom... Decent. We don't have any runners really. Ustor oh, actually, Ustor Wow, Ustorf doing what he's, he's doing is really, really good. <laughs> That's right. He's <laughs> fucking another power forward. I forgot. Uh, I don't even need. <laughs> Fuck. Too many players, man. Sergey Kudelstin. Some good growth. Reason. I, these are okay. Uh, Sissons is declining, so he's done. Uh, Dembski, Stromberg. Poirier, that's got to be a l Oh, wow, he's just grown really well. Dude. See, like, this is why another reason we don't need Schoenmach is we got this Poirier who's going to be overall better. I mean, likely. He'll be ready by the time uh, Saros is on his way out, essentially. Hello, Tanev. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I left him off con. Uh, that's right. We, I forgot we drafted first overall. <laughs> uh, we have so many things, dude. We just have so many players. He's a fucking 85 and 18. Shit. He's grown just fine. See, that's why I left him off contract. Let him develop in the U.S. a bit more. Oh, boy. That's just as insane. Are we missing anything still? Uh, DPHO doesn't matter. Leandro doesn't really matter. Fedorov missing, that kind of does suck. I did leave him off uh, contracts that, but I mean, 82 at 20, he's already in a fine spot. It's not really that big a deal. No, yeah, we're pr pretty damn good. <laughs> pretty damn good. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah, and we're in a decent spot. Have we had a moment where we've been 40 wins at the deadline? Not in a few years, I know that. I don't even think we had that in our cup year, did we? can't remember maybe we did but yeah um yeah as i said the only trade i'm considering making is is that one that i was uh-oh cody glass not wanting to come back i don't like that yeah we're not gonna be able to afford fabro i mean we could tactically we could but it would likely mean giving up cody glass do i i think i do another one year for full oh that's okay okay it's not hor mm. eh it's not horrible, but it's a bit more than I'd like. Let's see. 1.7. That's all right. It's not, you know what? Fine. It's a few hundred thou more, but fine. We'll give you a nice little, little bit. I want to keep around Felino. Pockets done. Fabro, oh, yeah, unfortunate about Glass. I was hoping to see that he wanted a contract. But this might be a bit uh, tricky. Damn. Hopefully he changes his mind, but no guarantee that he does that. I'll give you guys a look at the draft class as well and how that's shaping up. Uh, no steals yet. There's a possible or even probable medium elite goalie steal. Nothing really yet. Been doing my best. One guy here. Again, not too sure. I think those other guys may have just completely fallen off that we were looking at. I don't know. I, have, I don't remember their names. Okay, so the 61 for sure that I'm pretty sure he was that one, but the other guy is somewhere else. Uh, yeah. Um, nothing tremendous. At all. So, yeah, I'll keep scouting. We don't need it. Again, we absolutely do not need it. So, I'm not really concerned it too much. At this point, I can honestly just let Auto Scout do its thing and just have fun blind picking, but... I still like showing you guys the scouting, so you guys, as you know, a lot of people said they've learned a lot, I would have put out a scouting tutorial again, but I can't have separate franchise modes without risking one of them getting fucking deleted, so I didn't want to risk that, hopefully you guys are able to learn enough from this, and I'm very sorry that EA is absolute dog shit.
Uh, but it is what it is. Some things we simply can't change. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.